now we have uh, the, the, the part of the discussion with some uh, uh, Q&A. And uh, um, I'm going to start. Uh, I would like to open the floor at the end of, the, of, this, even of this part of the session. So we have three, three countries. We have uh, Korea, we have Taiwan, we, we have uh, Indonesia, and we have the viewers of the Asian Development Bank. I was supposed, so we were supposed to have two rounds of questions, but as we are a bit short of time and we, we just had 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to ask just one question to each of you, trying to, to, to put it all together okay, in, the, in the question. So we have what you need, three, four, five minutes for answering my, my question. I'd like to, to start with uh, Mr. Moon from uh, um, uh, Key Water, Korea. Um, so uh, yes, let me introduce that, for example, with, uh, with Singapore. We, the way we collaborate in, the, in, the, in terms of, 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 of technology on, on the water sector, on digitalization, is through uh, putting together to talk, to exchange information, different technologies on the digitalization of water. Mm -hmm. And particularly, we work with the PUB, the Public Utility Board, that is a, the, it's a similar entity like uh, Key Water in, uh, in, 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 in Korea. And we talk not only about uh, um, collaboration innovation, but also about uh, open innovation in, 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 the, in, the, in the sector, okay? We also work with the, uh, the um, di National Digital Agency of Singapore, the IMDA, mm -hmm. and whenever we, intro we, we introduce to them Spanish technologies on water digitalization, then the, the, the PUB appears at the meeting and then we, got the, the, we have the exchange. Uh -huh. so, how is the way that we can collaborate uh, with a country as, as, as Korea? And it will be perfect if, if you can join the answer with the, with the challenges that you had with the program that you uh, explained before, yeah. without a spoiler, because I understood that we have a presentation yeah. later on or tomorrow. Yeah. So maybe we can join the answer for potential collaboration with the challenges that you had, you were facing on in creating the digital uh, Garam Plus platform. All right. Thank you, yeah. Mr. Moon. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned in the presentation, uh, this platform, uh, I mean the digital current plus, is particularly designed for uh, practical application and real-time operation. So to achieve this, we put in a lot of efforts to make this platform user-friendly and accurate and fast. Before developing the digital twin platform, we determined the users because depending on the users, the complexity and the uh, the level of digital twin can be defined. So, in case, of, in my case, I considered the K Water employees as the potential users. So we were able to relatively quickly develop the the digital twin mm -hmm. by understanding our employees' needs and their knowledge and their experience, and also. Uh, based on my experience, uh, DT technology can be divided into three categories, data authentication, modeling, and 3D visualization technology. As for data acquisition, you've got to gather data from different sources and sources and different organizations. So that that's was the quite difficult task for me. And in terms of the simulation, especially for flood for forecasting, uh, the simulation should be accurate, and we the process the processing speed should be fast. So that was the challenge. Fortunately, we Kevata had already our own rainfall runoff model and dam operation model and river flood model. What I did is just combine the three models into one model. That was what I did. And what can I say? Uh, or the, the finally, the, the uh, 3D visualization and the user interface, making user interface is very important because this is for decision maker and the stakeholders to see the, the final result using, using the user interface and 3D uh, visualization in technology. Uh, when I first started creating digital twin platform, I was suffering from the lack of information on, um, 
on digital twin in the field of water management, especially for for dam operation. Now I realized I should have come to Spain mm -hmm. earlier because there are so many advanced uh, companies and organizations to have know-how about the uh, digital twin. Yeah. And finally, I would like to say I want to share and collaborate our previous experience because we want to, at the moment, we are more focused on the flood, but we want to expand our, our project to something else, like some, such as drought or water cycle, etc. So I'm happy to collaborate those who are interested in our, our project. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Moon. Uh, it's always better late than never, and uh, for uh, improving collaboration from Spain with Korea and from Korea to Spain. I'm sure that uh, the networking coffee, some of the companies will introduce themselves uh, right. to you. And I would like also to explore for the near future mm -hmm. uh, potential collaboration of introduction of Spanish technologies to mm -hmm. uh, Korea and Korean technologies also to, to Spain, yeah. because there are also potential of collaboration in third countries, I explain mm -hmm. myself, together okay. with multilateral entities. Uh, the Korean government is very, very involved in projects of water with the Inter-American Development Bank and the uh, World Bank. Mm -hmm. Of course, sure, with also with the Asian Development Bank, but uh, I, 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 I was following uh, uh, just before summer the, 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 the involvement of Korea in some particular projects, financing, mm -hmm. uh, looking for the integration of technologies from Latin America and, to, and Korea uh, together, uh, study tours to Korea of, of, of staff from the World Bank and also potential clients in Latin America. So I think that uh, the Spanish government, uh, through the Ministry of Economy, is in that uh, path, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that they, they, we can cross in, 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 in some yeah. point. And, uh, so the introduction from, uh, of Spanish technologies to the Korean uh, agency and the Korean technologies to the Spanish uh, uh, different uh, public counterparts with the presence of companies, I think it's also good for export collaboration. Yeah, that's okay. perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Moon. And uh, I would like now to jump to Mr. Uh, Chan Chun uh, Seng. You, some of the uh, characteristics of the of the of, of Taiwan and, and of the water sector were very similar to the ones in Spain so uh, I, I think that we we were uh, uh, facing similar uh, challenges yeah. and um, but there was one very big difference the use of the desalination plants yeah. so in Spain we, we, we there are um, yes. many plants uh, desalination we, we Spanish companies are used to work in this kind of projects, the Spanish population is used to uh, also to this kind of of of, of, uh, of projects, and uh, I would like you to ask about how it's possible to collaborate, how Spanish companies can be involved together with companies from Taiwan or from other countries in two particular uh, general projects or general ideas in Taiwan. First of all, is desalination projects. You were talking about. It's not pure digitalization, I know, but why not to, to join the desalination with digitalization? And anyway, you were uh, just uh, uh, putting some of the details of the uh, near projects on desalination. I would be happy if you can explain a bit more regarding that. And also on the smart water projects, uh, different kind of projects, how Spanish companies can collaborate with companies uh, from Taiwan uh, to, to, uh, to develop together the, the, the smart water sectors in, in Taiwan. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, as, um, as mentioned as my uh, pre uh, briefing, uh, uh, facing the threat of climate change, Taiwan has to uh, enhance our resilience uh, of water supply. So we uh, promote diversified water recently, especially in reclaimed water and uh, desalination water. So. Uh, we have new plans uh, now and uh, next year uh, we'll develop uh, and uh, for water management uh, in normal times uh, uh, we organize a, a water management group uh, to conduct the detailed water management uh, and uh, the members include uh, the water supply unit and the water user unit and the local government and the group uh, have to uh, regular meeting 
per month and uh, uh, to control water crisis and uh, uh, water management. Yeah, so uh, we strengthen the water management uh, uh, the actions. Yeah. And uh, uh, in our appearance, appearance for uh, against the drought uh, two years ago, uh, we think the contingency action is uh, a race against the time. So all strategies are crucial for me to mitigate water shortage. Uh, and uh, mm, even the higher cost uh, uh, desalination plant or this requiring water, water, we will keep to promote because uh, uh, it's a uh, insurance water for us, yeah. And uh, Mm, to ensure the water security, uh, various uh, urgent water sources have to exempt uh, the quality and uh, meet the drinking water standard uh, to ensure the uh, human and the industrial water use safety. Yeah. And uh, another key uh, issue work uh, uh, is open data. We talk uh, about dig uh, dig uh, digital work and uh, uh, open data uh, for our appearance. Uh, if all people or all water users can get the water uh, situation information more easier or get uh, the information from the official website or app. They can understand the uh, what's happened or any situation. And uh, they can cooperate uh, and uh, reduce the uh, argument and the uh, protest. So uh, I think uh, it's also the be better benefit uh, to promote uh, smart water uh, application, yeah, yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chan. My, yeah. my conclusions are similar to the ones after talking to Mr. Moon. So Spanish companies yeah. with presence here today, they will like, of course, to talk to you during yeah. the networking coffee and the rest of the uh, of the day. And I think it's uh, for the desalination uh, uh, projects, I think the uh, Spanish companies, they, they know, they are used to, do, to, to be involved in this kind of, of projects, but any other information that, that they can have for being uh, closer to, to, to be ready for, for presenting the, the papers yeah. or, or, or be in a consortium or, or whatever, I think it's, it's good. And for the smart water, that is a, a, a new sector for us to, uh, to collaborate. And, and I, have, I, I like to say that we, we collaborate more and more with Taiwan in more particular sectors, industrial yeah. sectors particularly. So why not in a smart water? No? This is like an introduction of the, of the, of the topic. And, and, and let's yes. talk if there is an option for uh, the exploration of the introduction of technology. Okay, in a, for uh, delving together some initiatives. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Shan. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And um, yeah. Michael and Anastasia, um, I think we are not wrong if we, if we, if I say that uh, more involvement of Spanish companies in uh, in activities financed or developed by the Asian Development Bank is a win-win. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm right. And I also want to share that we are. Um, following a situation in which we have more and more Spanish companies involved in World Bank and Inter-American Development Bank activities, and less Spanish companies involved in operations with the Asian Development Bank. We are uh, in the same page, if I say that we want to promote this uh, kind of, of collaboration, and um, how Spanish companies can be more involved in, in, in projects financed by the by, by Asian Development Bank. The way we work till now, that maybe it's, it's a way to, 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 uh, to, to increase, or maybe there are other ways, is uh, we, um, how we help as, as, as ETEX, okay? We organize sessions to directly introduce to your uh, uh, technical staff 
uh, new technologies that are answering to some of the challenges that you previously shared with us. Okay, so we have the challenge, and then we propose to you after checking with, with our water uh, industrial sector, which technologies can, uh, can, 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 can match with the challenge. Okay, and then we organize a session and we directly introduce the, sec the technologies to your technical staff. And the other way that we have been working till now is as um, there is a, a, I think you would explain about this, and I'm not wrong, a particular fund on, on water by the Ministry of Economy of Spain. So we have already this fund, or it's in the process of being uh, approved. It's a reality, it's the, the, the conclusion. So if uh, uh, normally the, the multilateral entities approach ethex to propose particular fields, particular countries, particular projects, particular consultancy services in which we can talk so regarding which we can talk to our Ministry of Economy to decide to put part of the money of the, of the big amount in, 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 in some uh, package. Uh, so to decide in which project we can put the money. And then we talk with our Ministry of Economy. They decide by themselves, of course, but they take some part into account our, uh, our uh, opinion. So we work in that sense with, 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 with uh, counterparts uh, 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 like you. And, uh, and Yes, so it's, it's a, a triangle between the, uh, among the, 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 the Asian Development Bank, Spanish government, Ministry of Economy and Ethics, and Spanish companies. No, I think we are talking about a win-win. Mm. So how we collaborate more, uh, uh, increasing these particular areas of working, or maybe new ones? Okay. So I'll take this. You can hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think as you, as, as you saw from the, the presentation, which I wish had a bit longer because we have so much to, to say, um, but we just, you can see that the, the demand is certainly there. Um, and if you look at the, the 48 countries that we um, uh, develop, are developing member countries, that, that represents about two thirds of the world's population. Um, and you've seen, you know, demonstrate really where we are in terms of need. and. You know, basically looking at smart water te technologies and digitalization are the sort of gold standard. And yet we're only halfway there in most countries. But again, as I mentioned earlier, the, the ability to, to leapfrog intent of technology, I think is very important for developing countries. And that's something where um, the technologies that are being used in, in, in Spain and by Spanish companies uh, are very important. To our, to our future portfolio with, with our developing member country governments and also for, for, for ADB because yeah, a lot of this links in with our climate financing, sustainability, etc. So I think the, the opportunities are immense. You've seen, I hope I've demonstrated some of the challenges that we have. We have many more, um, but from challenges become opportunities. You know, and every challenge um, that we have, you know, is, is can be met with many opportunities. And, and that's what we want to look at in terms of access for, for Spanish utilities and Spanish uh, product manufacturers and consulting, etc. And you mentioned earlier that there's already inroads with consulting and the like. Um, but, you know, essentially we have, uh, even in Southeast Asia, where, which I think, uh, uh, Olin and, and I are dealing with, um, we, we have, uh, you know, somewhere probably um, 600 million people. And um, if you just took that region alone, just looking at something like um, um, non-revenue water, um, typical values are probably 45% across the region, some better, some worse, but on average 40 to 45%, most of which is leakage um, and, and not actual commercial losses. So. There's just on that alone, there's a huge way to go. Smart metering is a fantastic way forward mm -hmm. um, for us, both for new projects and to retrofit into existing systems. Um, we're looking at, uh, in India, we've been looking at projects currently to use uh, AI for uh, automatic detection of, of uh, leakage, and, and which can be used even at a very low level through, through a smartphones, even for the local population can identify and report using their smartphones. So there's, there's a myriad of opportunities, uh, but again, it's, it's aligning them to, to our development member countries and uh, through ADB projects. So um, I think the, you know, the, the best way forward um, is, you know, if, if com country, uh, so companies are 
and agencies are interested that they approach uh, ADB um, via ICEX. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that should be uh, maybe the way through. That's a, just a, sort of one, way, one focal point through so that we can concentrate your efforts um, at ADB and not spread, spread them around too thinly. And then we can, we, can, we can then identify things that you may be interested in. We can put you in touch with directly with project officers mm -hmm. developing projects um, where, you may, where we may be able to use certain times of grant financing from different uh, and technical assistance which we can use. So um, I say just in, in our sector alone, just in Southeast Asia for the next two years, we have, I have $2 billion in projects project loans um, and that we see that this only being a growth area and digitalization and smart uh, systems being a growth area for us and yet and we're, we're looking at that for the next 10, 20, 30 years. It's a long term thing for us and sustainability of water utilities and sanitation utilities, it's a long term uh, goal. Uh, we're having problems with sustainability uh, on, on infrastructure investments that we finance. So it's very important that, so sustainability is very high on an agenda now and all these smart systems play a big role in that. So yeah, we have a, a, a myriad of opportunities, but again, uh, you know, how to get in, you know, Spanish companies uh, in that mix. Um, it may be that uh, ICX could even arrange a, a Spanish um, smart water day at ADB, mm -hmm. we can arrange that. We have companies that come and visit, and we, we can present to directly to project officers, um, and because um, they're the ones developing the projects with the governments. So there's a lot of opportunities. Um, so I think using ICX as a focal point to us. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy to get any interest from any any companies. Um, and they can approach me directly, or probably best to consolidate it through ICEX is, is probably the best way forward, mm -hmm. um, because then we can marry it together with, with uh, I suppose, your government uh, initiatives as well. But just to put a little bit of perspective on the whole thing, uh, if we look at like uh, uh, Indonesia, we have looking at, as uh, Olin mentioned, as um, maybe another eight or 10 um, cities we're looking to support with water supply. Yeah. Um, and maybe World Bank and maybe doing similar thing. But that only covers a fraction of what's needed. The importance of these projects is not that we suddenly increase 100% water supply coverage. It's that we're helping the government to realize it. So there's by a, sort of the proving grounds are on these development projects from which governments can then uh, have their own contracts for the other 80 or 90 percent of the work around the country, 100 cities and towns, not just 10. So the, the inroads through the likes of World Bank and ADB and the like uh, have a much uh, wider view. There's a much bigger pot than just what we're doing, but we are a good focal and starting point for the government in every country. And if you look at it across Asia, there's thousands of cities and thousands of towns that need this type of investment, uh, whether it's from private sector, whether it's directly from government, or whether it is um, uh, with the support of ADB or World Bank and other development partners. The, the, the pot is huge and it's really needed. It's in high demand. So we, we've got to look at marrying the two together. Um, and I think this, this uh, event this has been very good for us to understand. Mm -hmm. and to take back, but also with, uh, to have improved the links with ICEX and ADB and allow a continued dialogue to engage the, the wonderful things that the Spanish utilities and companies are doing here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, if I may add, so we're happy to have further discussion with the government of Spain. Uh, Actually, I've met the representative of the government of the of the Spain a few months ago. So I presented uh, um, our future project on sanitation. So our future project for sanitation in Indonesia is probably one of the largest sanitation project uh, within the bank. So it's going to start uh, next year. So a few uh, months ago, so I presented this uh, 
initiative to the uh, Spanish representative so we can have future networking sessions so I can update everyone about where we are at the moment for the sanitation as well as the future uh, possible collaboration on the water supply mm -hmm. because water supply is really one of the priority uh, it's always the priority but we see that the government start to put more attention on the water supply to ensure a wider coverage for the country mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Michael and Anastasia. Definitely, we have to move forward, as yeah. you are saying. I had a very good experience yesterday. Yesterday, at the headquarters of ETHEX, we had a kind of energy day with the Bank for European um, mm -hmm. Reconstruction and Development. Mm -hmm. So there were three members of the, of the staff that they were focused on energy, and there were some presentations and B2Bs. And the good experience was, at the end of the session, uh, the, the personnel from, uh, from, the, from the BIRD, mm -hmm. they, they, they told me, we have identified four companies that were not in our portfolio, they were not in our minds, and they are ready, Spanish companies, ready for tendering, ready for be part of the projects, Romania, Egypt, I don't remember, the, the, and it was energy. So yeah. let's move in that, uh, yeah. in that uh, direction. Yeah. And uh, finally, last but not least, uh, Harry, uh, uh, so in which uh, areas of, of innovation, particularly in water, do you think there are more opportunities for, uh, for collaboration or for Spanish involvement in Indonesian projects? How Spanish companies have to be prepared for the way that the, these projects are, are, are put on the table or tender or, or the way that they are open to the public? Because there is, uh, of course, we have multilateral financing, but there is also fin uh, bilateral financing by Spain to Indonesia. And I know that the typical projects that are in, in the portfolio that are going to be financed by this bilateral fund that is the, the, uh, managed by the Ministry of, of Commerce, uh, they are traditional projects. And there is no, so the digitalization is in the, you know, there is a, a main guide that every January is published, so we, we green, digital, but at the end of the day, the, the projects in the, in the bilateral portfolio with Indonesia are more traditional projects than more focused on digitalization. So there is a, an open opportunity for including these kind of projects in the portfolio. So in which areas do you think there are more opportunities, talking always about the smart uh, uh, water, and how Spanish companies have to be prepared for a, a, a tender or, or for a process in Indonesia? Okay. First one, uh, which area uh, can be a foreign company come to Indonesia? Uh, we we already using SCADA and uh, other up-to-date uh, equipment, but uh, in which area? Uh, the first one is about uh, the production water area. Uh, it's about how to build the water treatment plant and how to produce the water. And the second one is about the, how to expand the piping network. So we call it uh, as a distribution. Uh, we already create this as as a public profit public partner public-private partnership uh, in uh, recent decades. So uh, it will involve uh, the foreign company. So what actually uh, foreign company need to be prepared uh, to invest and cooperate or co collaborate in Indonesia? The first one, uh, foreign company need to make a joint venture with local company. Second one, uh, they need to apply certification for a specific permit. Uh, local regulation uh, already revised, but uh, foreign company still need to make a cooperation with the local company. Uh, at the end, we we will we will try to calculate uh, the local content uh, in any uh, co cooperation. Uh, even in Jakarta, the capital city, we already revise the regulation uh, last year to make the invest, investment is easier to come to Indonesia. That's, that's the answer, uh, Jose. Okay, thank you, Harry. For sure there will be companies that will talk to you in the networking coffee. Okay. We are uh, almost out of time, but I always like to open the floor to the audience if there is a question that you want to raise to, the, to any of the speakers. So please, yes. Yes, introduce yourself and make the question to the speaker. Good morning. Hello. Okay. Uh, my name is Ignacio. I'm the CEO of, uh, of a company, Molecore, that produces plastic pipes. Uh, my question is more or less for the Indonesian delegation. 
because, uh, of course, that we are seeing everywhere that Indonesia is really uh, demanding a lot of technology and improvement in the water nets, but we have been uh, suffering a lot of uh, protectionism from the country. I mean, there is a lot of restrictions to import developed products, to import uh, fishing products, just in favor of lo local manufacturing. Uh, doesn't matter if the product is the same or not. I would say, we produce pipes, do we have pipes? Yes, so other pipes coming from outside are not uh, allowed. So this is the kind of situations that we are facing when we are talking about Indonesia. So I would like to, to know from you how it's uh, compatible or how, it's, uh, how you can combine the, that will of innovation at, at the same time that increasing the protectionism in the country. Thank you very much. That's the question. It's not an easy question, but please, if you... Yeah, uh, actually, we, we put the condition, uh, if, if the product come to Europe, we, we will make a condition that, which is, where is the certified from Europe? Uh, if the European technology, but the, uh, let's say, uh, a country in Asia assembly, that uh, equipment, then we ask, we ask the company from Asia where is the certificate from headquarters. We, we always uh, make this condition. That's why uh, how to protect uh, your product uh, actually. Uh, for, for me in Indonesia, we always uh, make a condition that certificate from uh, headquarters is uh, mandatory for us. That's, uh, that's my answer, you say? Maybe Carolina will help me to answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the government, sorry, can you hear? Okay, so the government of Indonesia has a policy to ensure that uh, the local companies also have the opportunity to compete in the market. But for ADP, from ADP side, we will not limit the opportunity for collaboration with any companies from uh, other countries. So we are okay for having this involvement from uh, various companies. But I think there is a policy gap that we need to continue uh, discussing with the government of Indonesia with this kind of uh, local content issue because the government of Indonesia has a very specific concern on the local content to ensure that the local market is, is, uh, can, can survive. So I think this is, uh, thank you for raising this issue. It happens in Indonesia, we understand that. Uh, from ADB side, we will continue to have discussion to ensure that there is an open competition for everyone who would like to be part of the project. Thank you. It's true that in the uh, tenders of the projects financed by the multilateral uh, yes. banks, it's a supervision, a clear supervision that, that uh, it, it has to, to, to give uh, the, the objective for the objective with the objective of given at least the, the standardization of international yes. international level. No? Like yes, that. yes. I, I believe we can find uh, we can formulate solutions to address this policy cap because there will be for policy caps for whatever projects that we are having, right? So I believe through the discussion, uh, dialogue with the government, we can formulate a solution to address the gaps. Thanks, and thank yeah. you. Actually, just to, to, to add on to that, um, there's, there's sort of barriers are also, also an issue then, particularly for, for new technologies, because often they're proprietary systems. And they're only built in, you know, the new systems they're built in a particular country, and then have to be imported. Um, the long-term solution that there's only we've got to learn about the, we've got to be engaging with with uh, using proprietary systems. Um, but a lot of these proprietary systems they need to have uh, access to the market. Um, and I think through the likes of ADB and World Bank and others funding, we're able to push some of those things um, a little bit further. But ultimately, I think the aim of, of, of the government, like many development member country governments, is to have more production done locally. So then that's why I think uh, Bahari mentioned before about you know, having a, once you get the technology recognized, then having the ability to have set up a, a JV to actually have the, the, the uh, production, the assembly within Indonesia or other country. Um, to, to actually uh, expand the marketplace. But again, it's, it's always at that point where do the restriction, are the restrictions too restrictive that are preventing the new technologies coming in? Mm. Um, because we need to do that first before you can increase production in country. It's all proprietary equipment, so 
it, it, it is an issue, it's something that we deal with a lot. Yeah. Thank you. And one thing probably, if you can bring in new technology that is not yet available in the country, mm -hmm. there is an entry point on where uh, uh, um, companies from Spanish uh, uh, government can, can be involved in projects in Indonesia. So new technology is the key. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Anastasia, Michael, Harry. Any other question from the audience? Okay, if not, we can talk at the networking coffee that will be finished before the next session about Latin America. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank the very much. speakers today. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Very thank you. Much.